Hey guys, all right, so this video is a little bit different than my typical videos. I had mentioned that I do meal prepping as a way to kind of simplify my life during my grief journey, and a couple of you had asked me to kind of go through my meal prep process. So what I typically do first is I do what's called shopping your pantry and your fridge. So I kind of go through everything that I have and I make a list of all the ingredients that I still have left over that I didn't use up that are still good. And I just kind of take inventory and stock of what I have. I try to build meals off of what I already have remaining before I start planning for the coming week. I try to keep everything as simple as possible. I am not a chef, I am not a nutritionist, I am not professional in any sort of capacity, I'm just a grieving mom that's trying to stay sane. So this is kind of just what I do. Maybe it will be helpful for you just to show you that, you know, meal prep doesn't have to be super challenging. I actually split this over two days um, because I started the first batch when I got home from my vacation and then finished the next batch in the morning. And you'll be able to see I changed my outfit. So you can tell the difference between the two days. So what I ended up making this week, and I will say I a lot of times don't eat a normal breakfast. I just make my protein coffee. Um, I will leave a link up here, up here, whichever area it appears um, for that recipe if you want my protein coffee recipe. But a lot of times I just sort of make that in the morning when I wake up and sort of sip on that throughout the morning and then kind of start straight with lunch. So a lot of the things that could be used as breakfast items that I'm going to show you could also be used as lunch items and that's usually what I do. All right, so the things that I made this week, um, the first is a fruit and yogurt granola parfait. And I also made for kind of breakfast or lunch, these make ahead breakfast sandwiches that have egg and turkey bacon and cheese. And then for a snack or a meal, I made deviled eggs love deviled eggs um, and then for actual meals I baked rolls and then on those rolls I just bought I have lots of farmers markets near my house so I just went to my favorite farmers market and I got their um, packaged chicken salad so I just put the chicken salad then on <clears throat> the rolls and kind of eat that and then as a main meal and I actually don't show myself making the pasta for this um, but it's just a mushroom pasta, so it's ridiculously easy. All I did for the pasta was just take penne pasta, and then I had, again, it was a homemade sauce that was jarred at the farmer's market. So I always use that spaghetti sauce because I love it. So it's literally just boiling the pasta, putting on the sauce, sprinkling on some Parmesan cheese, and then I did make, if you can see the mushrooms that are in here, I roasted mushrooms and put that in there. And yeah, that is pretty much it. So I will go ahead and walk you through how I did all this stuff. Okay, so I am starting here with my eggs for my breakfast sandwiches. You will see I go all over the place. I actually filmed it in order. I am not an expert at this, so I'm sorry. That was six eggs that I cracked into the bowl with some salt and pepper. And I'm getting a little bit of milk and putting that in there and then I'll be mixing it all around. And with the six eggs, I have the eight inch um, pan there and that is sprayed with canola cooking oil. It's just magically appeared. And I'm gonna pour that in there. And then that cooks in the oven at 350 for about 20 minutes. So I'm gonna put that in there, get those eggs started. And then I'm gonna rinse off my berries for the fruit and yogurt parfait. So I have strawberries and blueberries this week that I'm making them with. I got them both at the farmer's market. So I just rinse those off really well. And then I start cutting them up. So I'm just chopping up the strawberries here. The blueberries obviously don't cut those up, just rinse them off and dry them. So yeah, cutting some strawberries. I use about a quart of strawberries here. And then my eggs were done, so I took out the eggs. You're gonna let that sit and cool. And once that's cool, it gets cut into about nine squares. And then the squares just fit really nicely on these sandwiches. 
Okay, so here I am making the mushrooms, the roasted mushrooms for the pasta that I made. So I just rinsed them off really, really well, washed the mushrooms, and I normally don't like to use paper towels, but I use paper towels for this because I found it's the easiest and best way to dry them off really well because you want them really, really dry. If you guys know any other way to do this without using paper towels, let me know, but I find they get fuzzy if I use any other towel, which I don't like. So I'm just drizzling in a tiny little bit of olive oil, looking around for some spices, and I went with um, a garlic and wine seasoning that I have and just put a little sprinkle of that. I'm gonna mix it all up. And then I have an ungreased um, nonstick cookie sheet. So I'm going to put those in the oven. They go in, I believe at 350, and you just bake them till they're done. They take about uh, half an hour and you mix them around in between. All right, so here is the fruit and yogurt parfait. So I use, you can use any yogurt that you want. I use a vanilla keto yogurt that I get at the grocery store. And I put it in the baggie just to make it a little bit neater when I'm squirting it in there. And then I dump in the fruit and just layer that however you want. This is my granola that I'm using here. I use a keto granola so it doesn't have any grains in it. I'm not keto, I just kind of like to go low carb. These I am making for my son, Max, because he likes me to meal prep some stuff for him and he doesn't like the keto granola, so I use regular fruit and nut granola for his. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and layer in some blueberries here. And again, you can use whatever kind of fruits you want in there, and whatever kind of granola and whatever kind of yogurt you like. I just kind of tinkered and found ones that are my favorite. And then I'm gonna put some more yogurt on the top of these. I was running out a little bit, so I gave more to him than to me because that is what a mom does, right? <laughs> and then I finish it off with a little sprinkle of granola on the top. And then I save the best part for last. Um, put a little bit more of the fruit on the top, blueberries, because he likes blueberries a little more than I do. And I grabbed some mini chocolate chips. So that's what that is right there. Just little mini Enjoy Life chocolate chips. I sprinkle that on top for a little bit of sweet. And that is what they look like. So I just store those in the fridge. My mushrooms are done cooking. That is what they look like. So I just sort of stir them around and then let them sit on the tray to cool down and dry out before I put them into a container. All right, so now I'm getting ready to make my rolls. I will link this recipe below. It's just a super simple homemade roll recipe. So I'm just putting in flour, oil, water, yeast, stirring that up and let that sit. I'm looking at my phone. You can see me there because the recipe is on my phone because I can never remember it on my own. So yeah, just getting that ready. It asks for softened butter so an egg, so I just sort of sit that back near my oven. While I am waiting for the uh, yeast mixture to start bubbling and rising, I assemble the breakfast sandwiches. So I already cut my egg into squares, you can see there. I layer it with turkey bacon and a piece of cheese on a honey wheat English muffin and I just assemble it like that and then wrap them in plastic wrap and then you can either put them in the fridge they'll stay for a couple days or you can put them in the freezer in a freezer bag and they will stay good for about two to three months in a freezer bag I found. So I'm just sort of mixing I kind of did a little bit with the bread in between there put in the uh, flour mix that around and then you have to let it sit and rise for a little bit and now I am kneading that in between assembling the rest of my sandwiches because it was done rising. And I'm gonna take just a circular um, bake pan and I just sort of take them out, roll them into little balls. You can see there, I'm putting them in there with my fingers and then you have to cover them with a warm dishcloth, which I sat over in my oven, which is still warm and allow that to rise a little bit more. And meanwhile, you can see I'm putting the mushrooms in the container to go on top of the pasta later. All right, here I am making the deviled eggs. You can see it's the next morning. I actually finished the rolls and baked those the night before. And the deviled eggs right now, I'm just cutting up the hard boiled eggs. Sometimes I make them myself, but this week I just was trying to save time. So I purchased them already in the bag, cut them up, put the yolks into the bowl, and I am mixing up the yolks. 
I put um, a little bit of sugar in there. I actually use Swerve sweetener instead of real sugar in there. I can't tell the difference and it's a little better for you. And then I use some light mayo, salt and pepper. And you can see I'm gonna use my mixer and mix it all up here until it gets all the lumps out and is a nice fluffy mix. And sometimes I put it into a baggie if I'm going somewhere nice and I want them to look nice, I'll like squirt them in with a baggie. But I didn't feel like doing that today, so I just slapped that stuff in there with a spoon. <laughs> there you go, you can't really see it, but there's the deviled eggs. And yeah, so here is everything finished. That is what the pasta ended up looking like. And then I just sided that with a little bit of green beans. And then I have a little, uh, on the side, sorry, I'm a little behind. There's the deviled eggs and the breakfast sandwich. I put a little piece of chocolate and a little fiber bite in with the pasta to make it a little more balanced. And there is the fruit and yogurt parfait. So there's the stuff that I made. The rolls I already had packaged up so I didn't get them out. There you go. All right, so that is everything. If you have any questions, please leave them down in the comments. Also, if you'd like to see more of this kind of content with meal prepping and things like that, let me know. I'm happy to make more of these if you guys like them. I am definitely not uh, accomplished at them yet, but <laughs> maybe I'll get better if I make some more. So yeah, just let me know in the comments what you'd like to see, and I will see you guys next time. Sending love and hugs as always. Bye.